trail. What is it like trying to see a trail in your areas, the wor places you've worked in? Yeah, so I mean, it can go from everything that you're seeing right now, where it's basically a path cleared through the woods and you just don't see, it's just a linear, like wide open to, um, you know, it gets overgrown. There's areas of the prairie that will, or, you know, uh, long stream beds and stuff that just get overgrown and you'll have no idea that there was a, 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 an old road through there. Um, so what we end up doing actually is, you know, because they're, these are linear sites, it, you know, you want to, I think naturally people want to go, oh, let's just go from point A to point B um, and we're going to try to record the trail and, and it just doesn't work that way. And so what we'll do is we'll actually find places that we can clearly identify the trail, be it a, you know, um, a path through the woods or an actual, you know, a, a swale, um, a depression in the ground, something like that and take that until we can start kind of piecing the, the route together. Um, and so sometimes it's been obliterator, it's just overgrown and we just can't see it anymore. And we have ways of documenting those conditions um, yeah. or it's, you know, clear as day. Um, mm -hmm. Then there's other mm -hmm. things you look for features like um, the retaining walls or um, uh, Karen's along uh, uh, the route to help uh, identify uh, the, the, the direction uh, of, or the, the, the path of the trail. Um, so there's there's little little markers like that that we can look for to help identify um, the route. And then the kind of the last piece of evidence and kind of most important is our historical documentation that we'll, we'll look for. So that's looking at uh, maps, journals, um, and uh, illustrations that might have accompanied some of those things. And that's how we can help uh, piece together the, the the route of these old uh, uh, trails or, or wagon roads. I just like to point out too that Tristan, you do know you have a lasso, right? <laughs> then I have a witness. <laughs> like you didn't you didn't have to kill that guy. You well, could have just But then there's a witness. <laughs> also the gunshot scared the horse away. <laughs> yeah. Well <laughs> I mean you you know horse thieves usually stole them at night, right? Yeah when they're resting. I mean, um, it worked. So, you know, I, so I was busy legally acquiring a horse, uh, Mike. <laughs> uh, did, did you mention... I mean, it's, it's legal when there are no rules out west. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I, I recall sometimes, especially like in like the desert areas, sometimes vegetation would be a clue towards w mm -hmm. where the path was. Like maybe the indents were collecting water or something. Did you mention that? Or have you seen if that's true or not? No, I didn't mention that, but that's a, that's a great point. And that it happens where... Um, even in, you know, prairie conditions, you know, uh, uh, the grass will grow greener <laughs> yeah. in the trail rut um, because it does. It serves as a, a, a collection point for water and, and you know, the, the grass will just grow greener there. Um, also, surprisingly, uh, during wintertime, it, snow fills that differently. And so it's actually, if it's the right amount of snow, you can actually cr clearly see old wagon roads. They're mm. very very evident just the way that snow collects within him so it's a weird weird moment to you know try to convince people like it's okay i'm surveying i can see the, the ground through the snow right right <laughs> yeah i remember it being very gratifying and extremely frustrating <laughs> yes 